I mean, congratulations on the on the win and the, and the accomplishment. Knowing you for a few years now, I know the win for you is always most important. But to get the win and then to, to, to get this accomplishment, how special is that for you? 400 uh, career goals. Uh, it's a perfect moment. You know, um, you know me well. <laughs> I think before the team, it's uh, first of all great for us to come back uh, after a big mistake that we make. Uh, we made in, in Portland. Uh, we start well decision. And we, we made a, a big mistake in, in Poland, but you know, the team can do that uh, sometimes, but it's important for the mentality, for the performance of the team, to come back the, the most quickly possible. Uh, we felt that in Thursday when we come back to the, to the training facility, we feel that we know everyone that we, make a, we made a, a mistake and we need to, to forget the mistake today. Uh, the team performance today, is, uh, it was uh, great. Uh, I think it's the first time in the history we beat Dallas. Uh, tough game for us because Dallas is a great team, and the team give a very very good face. Uh, so first of all, I am happy for that. Obviously, to arrive 400 too is a great day for me uh, because I, I obviously in my in my mind uh, was time ago to to arrive to to this. Uh, Milestone, uh, but you know, I scored the 400 today. The 401 is great for us because we uh, take the, the three points. But in my mind now, it's rest because I'm almost dead <laughs> for the game, and uh, try to think in about that how I need to work for score the 402 for the team. This is my mentality of always, but I'm happy. I'm happy for a ride to to many goals, but I don't want to stop. I want to. Score more goals, and I will try. David, uh, congratulations. First off, uh, the 400. While that's obviously uh, the milestone and historic in your career, does does the 401? I mean, does that kind of encapsulate how you want to play? I mean, kind of show that at 36 that you're still, I mean, you're still hungry, you're still hustling, you're still working hard. At the, all those things that you pride yourself on. Does that almost say as much about your career and the way you played as the 400 does? I mean, I I don't know who played the other way. You know, I always play in that way. Obviously, when you you take more more years, it's difficult to to continue fighting in the same in the same way. But I know perfectly that uh, what I I have successful in my career, and it's another way. It's not a, another way that. Give everything every day in the training. Give everything every day in the in the field. With the pass of the time, I need to take care with my body more. I did it uh, in the training facility before, after the train, and and I need to continue. I can't think in about day by day in my mind, uh, in my age, or or in my games, or in my goals, because I make myself sick <laughs> in this case. So I need to continue fighting. I don't care if I have 36 or. 37 or, or 20. I need to, to work in the in the same way that I know perfectly for my historial that I have successful in, in this way. So I try to do every day. Hi, David. Uh, congratulations. Uh, looking back at your career, do you have a favorite or memorable, most memorable goal in your career? Uh, I know I'm asking you to go through 400 of them, but do you have anything that stands out? You know, when, when the people ask me about the, the best goal in my career, I always uh, has difficult goals. For example, for me, it's not easy to score with the header. I like when, when I score with the header because it's not uh, obviously my, my strongest. Uh, but if you put together what is the most important, beautiful, the situation, the competition and everything, I think the best was in the Champions League against Manchester United with Barcelona in the final. I think this was the best, but I hope I hope the the best is coming. And why not give the Silverstone silverware? Sorry, silverware to NYCFC this year. Okay. For the penalty, Patrick can't say nothing because it's far too far of me. But you know, he believed in me taking the penalties. He always in the meeting choose me when I was in the lineup and. It's my responsibility. The most important when when you try to to score a penalty is to be calm, you know, to thinking about that you can score. 
and if you didn't feel this, you need to give the ball to other teammates. I always, when, when the referee takes the penalty, he has the confidence always in my career that I can score. Obviously, you can, you can score, you can miss the penalty, but I take the ball thinking about that. I just score yourself, a obviously, you had a lot going into today with the milestone and everything like that, but it seemed like the team as a whole kind of came out with a different level and a different energy. It seemed like you guys kind of knew this was a, a big performance, especially after the Portland game. Did, did you guys want to come out aggressive like that? Was that the point to come out with energy and, and kind of erase everything that kind of went wrong from last week? Yeah, of course. We know perfectly after the game in Portland that, again, we, we made a mistake. We, we don't play the, the way that uh, we played uh, in, the, in the games before. Um, and you know, always in soccer, when you made a mistake, you you want to to arrive the the next game for change the face. And I felt, and we felt every week that uh, we know perfectly that we made a mistake in Poland, and we want to arrive the game the most quickly possible. And we felt this in the in the in the training facility all the all the week. And this is this is nice for the team because obviously in soccer you can win. Every game, it's almost impossible. Only a few teams can, can do that. And, and we need to lose sometimes. And after the lose, the most important is come back and, and win the next game. And we did it, so we are happy. Uh, congratulations, first of all. And uh, second of all, what do you think is a, a key successful Major League Soccer career, especially for someone like yourself and staying hungry and everything? For me individually. It's difficult for me talking about individually. My successful is I have a lot of great, great teammates. I, I have a lot of great coaches, two coaches in this case, and and and, and obviously his his staff. They help me every day. I can score alone, so this this game is 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 for the team, and and I have successful because I I give everything every day in the in the field. I have the part of of lucky that you need to to have, and obviously I have very, very good teammates. We have in the past and we have right now. Thank you. Felicidades, David. Uh, para ver la edición, ¿cómo vas a celebrar tu 401? The, the question is, uh, how are you going to celebrate your 401? Descansando esta noche, porque estoy cansado, como te he dicho. He estado un mes fuera, eh, poco a poco voy volviendo al, al equipo y, y bueno, han sido eh, dos partidos anteriores a estos en el que he tenido que jugar en turf, no me quejo, pues ya me conocéis que no me quejo por, por jugar en turf, pero obviamente es mucho más difícil para, para tu físico y, y bueno, hoy estoy contento con el rendimiento que he tenido, pero ahora estoy bastante, bastante cansado obviamente, entonces necesito descansar, no sé muy bien cuántos días nos ha dado Patrick Libres, <risa> tengo que chequear ahora, así que nada, descansar y pensar lo antes posible en, en Red Bull porque esto no se acaba, eh, celebras cuando se termina el trabajo y para mi cabeza no, el trabajo no está terminado, simplemente he hecho dos goles que han servido para, para el equipo hacer tres puntos y estoy contento por ello, pero el trabajo no, no está terminado. Um, tonight he's going to relax, he's tired, um, after he was out for one month um, and we came off of two games on turf and it's obviously much harder to play on turf, it's harder on the body, but I'm very happy um, with the game and I'm going to try and relax. I have to check and see what Patrick is going to say in terms of how many days off we get this week. Um, and obviously next weekend we're playing the Red Bulls, which is a big match for us. Um, and I know that the work is not done, but I'm very happy with the three points tonight. That's it. But what, last one, Christian. David, tu disertaciones? That's the best my Spanish says, you know? Um, <laughs> The free kick I watched actually on in training on Friday. I saw you how, you, how well you struck that one. So coming into this week, you know you were you had the, you were feeling the strain from the turf and from the injury. But physically, how are you feeling now? You feel like you're back towards you know the via that we've seen for the past couple of years. Uh, it's difficult to compare, and I I don't want to compare for the last year, obviously because I fell injury. When you fell injury. Uh, start from zero, uh, nothing that you did before uh, is value in this moment and you, you need to work uh, more stronger. Of, of course it wasn't the, the start that I dreamed in the, in the precision because I fell injury one month, but I'm happy the way I, I train every day, the, the feelings that I have in the, in the body every day. Today was a really, really good game, tough, really good game, but tough. Uh, as well, and step by step, I can thinking about uh, or compare my my body with 15 days ago or 15 years ago. I need to continue. Uh, 
uh, try to do my best every day. Uh, doesn't matter what is the condition or doesn't matter what is the feelings that I have in the in the body, everything for, for the team and I try to do that every day.